Now we have a PN junction and we want to learn about the biasing, the biasing of PN junction. So uh, if I go back to, to the diagram of a PN junction, we have a depletion layer and, and we have P type, we have N type, and then we have a, a depletion layer and we have a, a slope, we have a barrier potential and this is uh, uh, this is a PN junction and uh, this PN junction ca can be symbolized as uh, as an arrow this arrow part demonstrates the p-type material and, and a vertical line and this vertical line refers to uh, to the uh, to the n-type uh, material and, and then you we have metallic contacts here uh, from P side and we have another uh, metallic contact here from N side. So, uh, so this is uh, this is a PN junction. This is a symbolic uh, representation of a PN junction. So, now the point is that uh, that uh, that that what how to bias these uh, PN junctions, and 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 we have. Uh, uh, we have we have to uh, we have to start with with p n junction in 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 forward biasing mode so forward biasing now in how do we define the, the, the forward biasing uh, is 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 when the positive terminal of, of the cell uh, that we are going to connect to this p n junction uh, or a battery uh, is connected to the P region. So, so if I have a cell, and this is a positive terminal, this is the negative terminal. When this positive side is is connected with the P type material and N, and the negative side of the battery is connected to uh, to the N type of material, then we we say that this P N junction is in forward biasing mode. Now, what happens? Uh, when we uh, when we forward bias this PN junction, so so this key was open. Say this was open. Now when we will subject this the same thing uh, to to what's called as uh, 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 the, the external cell. So what's going to happen here is we have the PN junction, and uh, and uh, we have the potential barrier and we connect it to the battery say like this and and this is my p and this is my n and here i have the the, the barrier potential so so when we connect positive side of the cell with the p type and negative side with the n side then we say that this is uh, this is the forward biasing of the p n junction <coughs> Uh, and we can we can understand this uh, from from the given figure. Now this potential difference that that we give once we connect this battery, uh, it reduces uh, the the potential barrier, right? So it will reduce this height. Uh, this height will be reduced. So we will have we will have a small potential barrier, and 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 we will have the small slope like this. Right, <clears throat> so uh, so uh, so here uh, we uh, uh, what we do is that uh, the, the the potential difference uh, uh, this re uh, it reduces the barrier potential. So the effective barrier potential uh, the, that's reduced to if I say this barrier potential is is V B, and if I assume that the the potential that I'm applying is V, so the resultant barrier potential will be. Uh, it will be VB uh, 
uh, minus v because uh, we have to break down uh, this this barrier potential uh, so that there is the, the there is the flow of charge uh, the the positive side will repel the holes from p side uh, and the negative side will uh, will uh, attract those uh, those uh, the, those extra holes uh, so that there is flow of current uh, uh, in the given loop so uh, the, the the junction resistance becomes very small and that's clear because the because of the the smallness of the barrier potential now uh, what i said is is that the, the holes uh, because they are in majority from the pre p side uh, 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 these holes uh, they they will be they will be drifted towards uh, towards the uh, towards the n region of, of the pn junction and and these holes will be further uh, attracted by the negative terminal of the of the cell and and when when we think in terms of the the minority charge car carriers here we have uh, electrons and as minority ch charge carriers so these electrons will be uh, will be attracted uh, they will be attracted towards the positive terminal and uh, and uh, and here uh, the the holes here the electrons will be uh, repelled towards the uh, holes uh, here the holes uh, will be uh, attracted uh, towards the the neg negative region so uh, what we observe here is, is that uh, the, the 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 crossed over electrons in p region and holes in in n n region uh, uh, they are in fact minority carriers so so this process of crossover uh, uh, is called as minority carrier injection so so concentration of injected holes in uh, in n side uh, and that of injected electrons in p side increases a lot near the junction than the ends so the difference in the concentration with with distance uh, um, uh, uh, so, so, so th this is how the, the concentration uh, uh, increases. The, the, the movement of the holes uh, and electrons constitute a diffusion uh, current, uh, a diffusion hole current, uh, and, and diffusion electron current, respectively. So, so summing up the currents due to the holes and uh, due to the the electrons uh, gives the the resultant the net resultant current that flows in the p-n junction because the current is by virtue of uh, uh, both uh, uh, charge carriers, majority charge carriers as well as. Uh, the minority charge carriers now if we take the same uh, discussion where we talk about so uh, where we talk about reverse biasing so so in case of reverse biasing what we do is we we uh, we reverse the polarity of this battery so by reversing the polarity of the battery so what we do in this case is we have p we have n and we have a depletion layer say this is the depletion layer and once we connect it uh, to the battery uh, so here we give negative and here we give positive so when we uh, give negative side of the battery to the p side and positive side of the battery to the n side this is called as reverse biasing now what's going to happen when we reverse bias uh, a pn junction uh, in this case what's happening to the majority of holes they are being attracted towards this and and here the the the, the majority of electrons uh, they are being uh, uh, attracted towards the positive terminal of the battery but so that means what's happening uh, to, to, to the current what's happening to the depletion layer the size of this depletion layer is going to increase when we uh, when we increase uh, 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 when we reverse bias the, the pn junction so here uh, we have if we apply the, the the external voltage v and there we have the barrier potential vb so in this case, uh, uh, in this case, so what will be the uh, what will be the effective uh, barrier potential? This effective barrier potential will be V B P. 
plus V. And here, in case of forward biasing, the effective barrier potential is Vb minus V. That means here we say that the potential, the size of potential barrier decreases, but here uh, the the size of the potential barrier uh, uh, increases. So, <coughs> so, uh, so, so, the, so, 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 what's happening here with the majority charge carriers? Now, if we think here, uh, the 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 majority charge carriers of p region and n region uh, they are respectively attracted by a negative and the positive terminal of the battery thus both holes and electrons are drifted they are drifted away from uh, uh, from the junction as a result of this holes in the p region and electrons in the n region cannot cross over through the through the junction uh, therefore the flow of the current uh, in the diode is almost uh, uh, stopped. It's almost, it's, it's extremely small. Uh, it's extremely small. So what's going on uh, is there is a small reverse saturation current. And why there is a, a small reverse saturation current? Uh, what is uh, this uh, reverse saturation? It's, it's a current which cannot increase anymore. That's what we call as reverse saturation current. So due to sweep of the minority carriers in the P region and N region, this current is, is, is not affected by the increase in applied voltage, but increases with the increase in temperature. So, so, so temperature is is uh, is is influencing uh, the, the 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 flow of this reverse saturation current. Now, this is because the minority carrier density uh, responsible for the reverse saturation current increases with increase in temperature. So, uh, so here we have the current, uh, but. Uh, 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 this current is due to the minority uh, charge carriers and and this current is uh, very small uh, very very small in nature uh, but this current can can be influenced by virtue of temperature if the temperature is increased this reverse saturation current uh, because what we say reverse uh, saturation current is a current which cannot increase anymore but it can be increased only if we uh, we are increasing the temperature uh, of the system. So if the reverse bias is increased to a high voltage, now if we go with, uh, with the very high voltage here, uh, the, the, the covalent bonds uh, uh, near the junction here, the covalent bonds near the junction break down and a large number of electron uh, whole pairs are liberated. Thus, the reverse current increases abruptly. So there is a sharp rise in reverse current to a very high va value. This phenomenon, uh, we, we, we call this phenomenon is called as breakdown. And this value of reverse voltage is called as uh, the voltage that we will obta obtain at that point. We call that, uh, uh, we call that breakdown voltage. And, uh, and 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 th th there is a breakdown uh, 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 in the junction, uh, and the voltage that corresponds to that uh, that breakdown is called as breakdown voltage, right? So 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 to 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 summarize this, uh, uh, when we have PN junction in in forward biasing mode, uh, if I have to make a small circuit for it. This is a PN junction, and, and this is the forward biasing of the PN junction. And this is another PN junction, but this is in reverse biasing mode. Now this is forward biasing, and this is reverse biasing. More. Now, in this case, what happens, uh, the thickness of the depletion layer, the thickness, I mean the thickness of depletion layer decreases by, so if this is uh, supply voltage is V and we have the, the barrier uh, potential here VB, so this uh, decreases by V minus Vb 
And here, in this case, uh, see the negative term, this is the reverse bias mode of PN junction. Here, the thickness, the thickness of, of depletion, depletion layer increases. So if the supply voltage is V and, and the, the depletion layer is VB, so here the, 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 the overall uh, barrier potential increases by this, uh, by this amount. So in, in, the, in the next uh, video, we will be discussing the characteristics or uh, how, how to characterize, how, how to, uh, how, uh, we would like to see the, the behavior of, uh, of current uh, uh, with respect to the external voltage in, in, in forward biasing mode and in reverse biasing mode.